Hello guys, welcome back to another model review. Um, well, I've managed to squeeze some time in to finish this off. This is what I kind of started on the bank holiday before I went back to work, but never actually ended up finishing it on the weekend, which I planned to. So this is the Lumerus X, I think it's X Terminator. All I know is it's got two twin linked auto cannons on the front, and I like it a lot. So let's begin with the front. So we have the dozer blade all weathered up with mud effect on the bottom so it looks like it's picked up some mud while ploughing through whatever it's ploughing through. We have the hole mounted heavy bolter which these do come out. I never see why people magnetise these because once they get a bit of paint on them, put it in like so, it ain't going anywhere. It's not coming out. So that's that. Let's pop that back in. Then we turn to the side, um, we have the have some more weathering on the bottom of the tracks here. I don't know if you've seen that, but some rust effects on the main. Oh, Christ, I know all the stuff about these. Return rollers for the tracks go there. Torsion bar. Oh, what wheel is that? What wheel is that? Those are the wheel, that is the wheel which... Uh, oh, I know so much about tanks, I can't remember. There's a wheel there which basically holds the track in line. The, tor the torsion wheel, which is the big wheel which would be loca located behind here, controls ta ten tension. And that makes sure that's got like a wheel which moves more, but will keep the track tight as needed to the torsion bar to stop it rolling off. These will be return rollers and that will be the main drive wheel. There, so there you go, if you guys ever wondered what wheels did what. This wheel will be torsion bar, return rollers, there. The wheel which I can't remember how to explain how it does, and the drive sprocket wheel. So we have more weathering on it, with, and then my basic free tone camouflage. This is all done with blue tack and spray paint, so that took off take off drying time and about two minutes to do um, we turn to the back of the tank now we have the smokestacks which have been which have had this cabinet and rolled up and laid on top of it so this was a bit of um, dried up wet wipe dipped in PVA rolled up and painted um, we have a storage box for tools and whatnot on the back, the towing bar, and a crudely drawn map by me onto the back of the grill. And you'll see why those pinholes are there and all that in a minute. Then we're back to this side with more weathering along the bottom, paint scratches everywhere, uh, some grind marks coming off the rivets there, and then we come to the turret. Now we have this thing of the Tamiya Modern Upgrade Kit. I just stuck it on there just to bring it to detail because I like my things to have lots of gubbins and stuff on them. Fairly stubborn. The turret hatch has been open. Um, I didn't put the search light on, you'll see why in a minute. Open, I want it to open for a change with nothing in it. Got some spare track on the side. The turret does move more way from all the way around. Normally this would be absolutely round with storage, but I'm not sure why not. So we'll turn back to the back. So the reason why there's not much bits on this tank as much as there normally is is because of this. Uh -huh. This guy was the first guy and as you can see his hand has completely missed the map where he was supposed to be pointing. Then we'll stick this dude on. So, so we have those two guys reading the map, and we'll stick this little dude on. He just slots in like so. He's not going anywhere. There's a lot of work to make these guys fed. And 
we will stick this guy. These ones are the harder ones to get on. Um, that side, oh, on that side of the turret. And then this guy on that side of the turret. So this tank has tank riders. I'll be doing another tank with more tank riders on it to go with this squad. And it'll be the commander's one. So we've got these guys on the back of the tank reading the map like they're lost and they don't know what they're doing. I kind of got bored and I wanted to create the diorama thing which I could use in game as well, which wouldn't restrict it, the model to game use. So that's the tank with the riders on. Then we have the magnetized sponsons, which magnets have protruded the hell of it. Uh, one goes there. Put some weapons in there. Once again, I do not see why people magnetize these the weapons onto the actual thing. And I can't get. I think this magnet is going to need some adjustment, but it works. Then we have this one. This one goes on that. Um, so then we have it, the complete tank with the riders and sponsons on. Extra bit of storage and detail onto the things just to break up the flat surfaces, give them a bit more detail. It looked like these guys actually arrived in it, so this took a long time to do. I mean, molding this into place with this guy on top was a nightmare. Trying to drill through wet P PVA wet wipe was pretty hard, but this is solid now so they all sit on there really firmly this guy's a bit wibbly and so is this guy but from my guess they're not going anywhere so that's kind of the diorama thing i wanted was these guys riding on the back of the tank so yeah, this guy like peering out looking to see where they're going these two are just arguing over a map because they're completely bloody lost this guy's just in deep thought don't know what to do and this guy's just happily cruising along so that's not even us with uh, tank riders um, pretty quick one again guys really lacking time at the moment so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one Doodle.